In this Excel video, I will teach you the Excel percent of function. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in Excel and you can see it's a list of some students. I just made them up. These aren't real students and their raw score on an end of level test. This is an important test and these are their scores. The total possible points are listed here. Let's say there are a couple of different versions of this test that students can opt into. How could I quickly calculate the percentage? There are multiple ways you could do this, but the percent of function is particularly good. You can just click on a cell, type equals percent of, put in the left parenthesis, and then select the data subset. In this case, it's this number here, 230, put in a comma, and then choose the data all. In most cases, the higher number. So I'm trying to find out what percent this is of this. So I'll click on C2, put in my right parenthesis, tap enter, and the percentage correct is calculated, 94%. Now, of course, I could type in the same formula again, but in D3, but there's a much faster way, as many of you know who watch my videos. You can just select cell D2, and then look in the lower right corner for the fill handle, or auto fill handle, and just double click on that, and it will fill the same formula all the way down the data set, and it will update the cell reference references so that it works with the data below. So that quickly, I have accurate percentages for each of these students test results. Now, if you want to display the percentage correct with even more accuracy, what you could do is select column D. I just clicked here on the D here at the top, and then you can just go here to the home tab in the number group you can increase the number of decimals that show up in a percentage. So now it's 93.9 for Emily, and I can increase it by another decimal point if I want to, 93.88. So you can just keep increasing the number of decimals, or you could decrease them down to a reasonable number. I'm gonna go with that right there. So those are the basics of how you use the Excel percent of function in your spreadsheets. I hope you'll give it a try, and I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. You could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic Super Techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for your support. It means so much.